John Mallow is back here with the Central uh, Valley Talk Business Center, and uh, we're actually a business segment here on this uh, day, and we're talking with our next guest here, talking with Maria Banda. She is with uh, Sago Ray. It's a nursery. Where is that located exactly here in uh, Fresno, Maria? Our business uh, address is 6700 East Central Avenue, and it's located right in the corner at Temperance in Central. Temperance and Central. Okay, how long have you been in business there? Uh, we've been in business uh, since 1986, so it's all over 30 years. Almost 30 years, yeah. and you own the business, right? Yes, we own the business. Okay, and who owns it with you? Um, actually, it's in my name now. My husband started started the business. Unfortunately, we lost him, you know, six years passed ago. Away. He passed okay. away. But my sons and I, my two sons and I, we keep uh, the business going. Well, tell us what's new in the uh, nursing uh, or the nursery business. The uh, nursery in terms business. Of, in terms of, you know, how to, okay, if you, somebody is coming up to, you know, is walking through your doors and they want to buy something and they're not quite sure what to buy, you know what the climate's like in Fresno. What do you buy? What do you uh, buy? Because we're, we're entering into the fall season now, and so what do people buy? What, what kind of plants? What kind of flowers? What, what do they want? Well, our main uh, business, it's like the name says, Sego Ray. We specialize in segos and palms. Okay. We got like 40 different kind of palms that acclimate to this weather. Palm we don't, trees. Palm trees. We and how of, big are they when you first buy them? Um, actually, I have them, we grow them from seed. So we have them from starters to up uh, 20, 30 feet. So it depends oh, what people Oh, you can buy want. them that, that big, huh? Yes. 20, 30 feet. Yeah, we have a big inventory. Yeah. Yes. That's so amazing. we've been in business for 30 years, and we grow plants from seeds. So can you imagine in 30 years how big they can be? So how we, long does it take to grow a palm tree from, say, the first day, from the seeding until until it grows to 20 feet, let's say? How long would that take? Uh, some plants, they grow pretty fast. Uh, we got palms that grow a uh, foot to two feet a year. I got plants that grow only a few inches a year. Uh -huh. It just depends on the type of plant. And we got plants that come from all over the world. We I have a... a uh, import permit, so I import seeds from all over the world. So I got different kind of plants. Yeah. Now, do you grow the palm trees there on the premises? And yes, then, we do. We got greenhouses where we can grow their and seeds. And that way, you grow them there, and then they they're removed and then uh, taken to wherever. Um, yes. You know, the purchaser lives uh, yeah. wherever they want to plant them, right? Yeah, we grow them in little containers in the beginning. Then we step them up, and other ones we grow in the ground. And then when they get taller, we put them in pots. How popular are these palm trees? And I see them all over Fresno, of course, but... A lot of the uh, type of palms, they're real popular because after they root it, they don't require lots of water. So they uh, acclimate to this climate, plus they drought tolerant. So oh, they you don't are. have to... Yeah, it's a lot of uh, uh, palms that they drought tolerant. Plus we sell a lot of different type of trees yeah. that they drought tolerant. So What other kind of trees do you sell? Uh, we sell like uh, Rewurash, uh, the Chinese elm, Chinese pistache. Uh, we have the uh, willows, the desert willow, which are flowers all summer long, and it's a beautiful tree. If people want to have flowers in the yard, it's, it's easy to maintain because they don't require lots of water. So. We do house, do house calls too because we've been in business for a lot of years. We um, know how the plants grow. Yep. We, uh, we can tell people where to plant in the yard, what kind of plants, and uh, we help them with problems with the plants, too, so we can do a lot of different stuff. Now, here's the thing. Uh, do palm trees require, or any of these other trees, do they require a lot of maintenance? Uh, do, do they, I mean, once you plant them, let's say, in your backyard or your front yard or whatever, uh, do you have to trim them once in a while? Because I notice that my neighbors, at you know where I live, mm -hmm. they have a pump, but every once in a while it starts getting shaggy. Yes. And so, do you have to trim them once in a while? Is they there require, maintenance required? Yes, they require some maintenance. Like the ones that grow slow, they don't require as much maintenance. Segos, Mediterraneans, uh, day palms, the Mexican blues, they don't need a lot of water. They don't need a lot of maintenance because they grow slow. The mm -hmm. Mexican fan palm, yes, they require a lot of maintenance. Uh, but queen the palms, sagos, no. No, sagos, they don't, because they only shoot once or twice uh, a year, you know, leaves. So if you only uh -huh. have one growth a year, you don't require to prune it every, every other year. Yeah. So they, it's a lot of palms that don't require a lot of maintenance. Yeah, and the thing is, they, do they have stickers on them? Some of them do. Yeah, Some so you got to be careful, stickers. you got to wear gloves, right? But a lot of them, they have stickers in the stem of the leaf, not in the leaf. 
So right. you only need to uh, be careful when you trim it. Yeah, it's it's something you got to be be careful of, and so you got to wear gloves or yes. hire somebody to trim them. Uh, we do that kind of work too. We can maintain them the pumps for the customers. Yeah, are these popular? Uh, are yes, they, they are. They oh yes, they, they are popular. selling. Yes, and so sell. if I wanted to go in and buy one. Let's say one that's, I don't know, 10 feet tall, 20 feet tall. What would that cost me, let's say? It depends on the type of pumps. You know, right now, because after the economy, you know, collapses, the pumps are a little cheaper. Yeah. Uh, like the day pumps, you can buy between $150 a trunk foot, already grown. Okay. So you can get a 10-footer for $1,500, which years ago you had to pay like $5,000 for it. So, so about 1500 for about a 10-footer. Yes. Yeah, and something that's 20 feet would probably be double About, the price. Yeah, three thousand dollars. Double the price, and yeah. so um, uh, anything else that you sell besides the um, Sagos there? Yeah, the more popular one that we sell is the uh, Queen Pan, which is uh, fast growing, real reasonable, and they can take that weather really good. Uh, we sell in a, a nice uh, specimens for like forty five dollars. It's already ten feet tall with a trunk about three or four footer. Yeah. And it's the more popular one right now. You know, here's the thing that uh, I, that I've often wondered with these palm trees, because a lot of people they they, you know, they want to um, customize their yard, whether it's the back or the front, with some of these palm trees, and they can run very expensive. The sagos, as we all know, run uh, they're high, um, but the fact of the matter is, uh, when someone sells their house and they want to move from say. Uh, East Fresno to West Fresno. Um, can they dig those sagos up and take it with them? Yes, they they can. I without fact, destroying the sago, uh, without yes. killing the sago. Yeah, the sagos are re sagos are really uh, easy to transplant. They, they transplant really easy, They're and there's one uh, they durable. There's one thing that we offer too, and we uh, sometimes uh, tell the people that when they move, they take the plants that they can take. Um, and we help them to, to relocate them. Uh, mm -hmm. What you do is, uh, when you move a sago, you have to be a uh, certain time of year. You wanna do it early spring uh, or beginning of the summer. That way, if they, for some reason, they lose the leaves, they got new leaves right in their, right in their location. Uh, winter, we don't recommend it to move them because, because it's gonna be cold and they like to root when the soil is hot. So you okay. don't want to move it in the winter. You want to do it uh, early so spring. So early spring or, or summer or early or the beginning of summer the is really the summer. time to do yes. it. If, if you're going to sell your house and you want to take them with you, um, and, and so do you? Uh, how do you care for them while you're transporting? What, what do you do? Uh, the main thing you want to hydrate them, uh, soak the trunks, soak the uh, root root ball real good. That way they. Uh, they don't lose any water from the trunk and they can root pretty fast and they take real fast. As other palms that you can transplant in the winter, like Mediterraneans, windmills, you know, they, because they are uh, uh, from a cold climate, so they can take the uh, transplant better in the winter. Yeah. How much, uh, how much business are you doing right now? Well, we just, um, you know. Slow right now? It's a slow. Since the economy crashed, you know, we, it was pretty tough for a few years, but now it seems like the economy is coming back again. And Here's the thing, too, is that Fresno put water meters in, and so people are watching how much they're watering their lawns or their plants or their trees, and they're conserving on water, even though we had a wet year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it costs money to run that faucet. There's no yes. question about it. So are people looking for things like Seiko that require less water? Uh, yes, uh, and like I say, a lot of the plants, they require water when you barely plant it. But after they're in the ground for two or three years, they can go with one water in a week. Uh, they okay. have to be deep watering. The ma main mistake people make here in Fresno in the hot areas, that they put the sprinkler system and they only go five minutes. Five minutes and not the 105 degree day is not gonna do it. They have to either maybe accommodate it two or three times a day, the day they can use the water, that way the water goes deeper because those trees, they have uh, roots three feet down. So you have to make sure the water goes deep. If you put drip system, if you let them run for two or three hours a day, you don't need the water every week. Uh, my fields, I got plants in the field. They only water once every other week. Can you go a couple of weeks without watering? Yes, you can. You can, they you won't You can if you, if you put deep watering. 
If you water in the surface, the plant is gonna, not going to take it. But if oh. you let the water go deeper, three, three feet deep or two feet deep, it's going to take a long time for the sun to make uh, the ground dry so three are, feet are the, deep. Are, are these, are these uh, sagos, are they popular with people? People are, are, are because of the fact they don't need a lot of water? Yeah, they stay popular for that reason. And it's other sagos, like the Mexican sago, they don't require lots of water either. Uh, I have sagos that come from all over the world, and it's, some is tougher than the regular Japanese sago yeah. palms that everybody knows. Yeah. Well, how do people get in touch with you, Maria? If they um, want to call, you're on Facebook, you're on all the social yeah, media. What is, what is it? How do we get in touch with you? We have Craigslist, Facebook. Um, yeah, and they can, my phone number, 268-6650, or they can go to uh, 6700 East Central Avenue, and we open every day. All right, and the telephone number again, slowly. 268 Six six five zero. All right, Maria. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for luck. inviting us. Yeah, and thank you. I'm glad to be here. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Maria Banda. She is uh, with Sago Ray. That's a nursery right here in the city of Fresno. So get in touch with her. She gave the phone number a couple of times. You've been watching the business segment on CentralValleyTalk.com.